Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to go through some of the new features which we added to the auto buyer. So if I go to the release notes, so these are the things which we uh, added recently. So the first and last thing uh, is a small change where there was some issue with the sound notification which we fixed as well as uh, we have added an option to auto clear logs. Okay. So over the time, if there are uh, too much log text uh, the browser might freeze so we added this option so if you wanted you can toggle it so that uh, every two minutes the log will be cleared okay and the main reason for which i'm making today's video is this discord integration okay so now you will be able to configure discord in our auto buyer so that you will receive a notification on the discord as well as now you will be able to start and stop the auto buyer from your discord so consider this scenario where you are away from your computer and capture got triggered because of its the auto buyer stopped okay so when capture got triggered on discord uh, if you have enabled the notification you will get a notification saying captcha has been triggered now you can use your fifa companion app to solve the captcha once that is done you can like start the auto buyer directly from the discord itself okay so you no need to come back to your computer and then manually run it again so this is the main feature which we added in this release so what i'll be showing in today's video is how to configure this uh, discord notification and then start and stop the bot from discord okay so let's get started so first what you need to do is you have to install the latest release okay so for that you have to go to my home page from here click on the releases and then click on the autobear.user.js okay and from here uh, you should be ideally having this uh, install or reinstall button using which you can update the script when the script is updated uh, just uh, refresh the web app so that you will be having the latest script okay so now if you go to auto buyer so here uh, under notification setting now you will be having two more fields discord bot token and discord channel id okay so now i will be showing you how to get uh, both of this information from discord so first for bot token what you need to do is you have to go to discord.com slash developer okay so if you go to slash developers it will redirect you to slash applications itself okay from here you have to create a new application so the name is up to you and i'm going to give it as fifa bot okay create an application okay and from here go to bot and then add bot just do it okay so this is the token which you need to give here so copy it and then paste it here okay then one more thing what you need to do is for this bot you have to give some permissions so go to auth click on this bot and then to this bot you have to add some permissions so we need to send message right so you have to enable this as well as you can enable manage messages and read message history okay maybe manage message and send message should be fine let us add this as well so that uh, in future if we make some changes this permission will be already available then uh, once these permissions you added just copy this url okay now you have to add this bot to a, a discord server so first let's create a server so i am back to discord and then click on add server create my own for me and my friends so here i will give fifa bot notification so again the name is up to you so once i create uh, this server i'm going to add the bot to the server okay so for that as i told you have to first copy the url and paste it in the new tab so here it will ask you for the server so this is the server i'm going to add it continue so these are the permissions whichever we requested then give on give authorize okay so now we have successfully added the bot to this server so the second field uh, in this is discord channel id right to get the channel id what you need to do is you can just right click on this channel 
and then copy id suppose if you are not having this copy id option what you need to do is go to user settings then from here if you go to advanced you have to enable the developer mode maybe by default it might be uh, turned off you have to turn it on so now if you right click on any of the channels you will be having this option called copy id copy this id and then paste it here okay so now if i enable this notification and click on test notification i'll be receiving the notification from bot okay so like let us uh, run some few scenarios so i'll give a search criteria maybe in gold common i'll keep it as 500 even by price i'll keep it as 500 and i don't need to sell it wait time i'll give it to one two three so that it happens really fast one purchase per request i will randomize bid okay and then now since i gave send notification as on and then here notification type what like if you wanted only for uh, buy or lost like you can configure it similar to our you we used to configure for telegram right the same thing i'll give as a so both for pro uh, lost as well as one i will get the notification okay then i will search okay so if you see for all of these uh, logs right i got the logs here so i got the notification in discord as well now if you see our bot is stopped right i can just send start so the bot will be successfully started and if you see here it says running similarly i can stop as well so the bot will be successfully stopped if you come here it will say idle okay so this is what i wanted to cover in today's video i hope you are able to successfully configure the discord bot uh, into the auto buyer if you have any doubts please leave that in the comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible also if you think you have a good uh, idea which we can implement to the auto buyer please leave that also in the comment section i will check the feasibility of uh, integrating it into the auto buyer and uh, if you find my auto buyer uh, helpful please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so that i'll be able to get some sponsorship based upon the subscriber count and i can make a few more uh, free stuffs like this okay and thanks for watching have a nice day